good morning friends uh, my name is varender and welcome you to my youtube channel cloud ninja so in this video we'll study that uh, what are s3 bucket policies and how we can provide you know access to the or granular access to the resources or data which we have stored in the s3 bucket so my friends do not confuse it with the or do not get confused with the im policies because im policies we basically attach to the users or groups to have more granular control to the resources which they will be having access within the aws console so s3 bucket uh, or the bucket policies are basically for the buckets which you have created or uh, buckets we generally create in the s3 storage or a simple storage so these are limited to the buckets only not uh, you know for the users as well as groups so let's see that uh, what is there in the bucket policy so you know bucket policies like uh, im policies uh, they are again a simple json script running uh, you know behind the show to to have more granular control over the resources or data which we have stored within the s3 bucket so again remember it we are saying it is a bucket policy bucket means bucket we create in s3 storage or a simple storage so they are restricted only or limited to the buckets which we create in aws or amazon cloud so they are not meant for the iam user so the policies which will be creating for iam users those will be iam policy so bucket policies like i said are applied to the buckets in s3 whereas iam policies are assigned to the users groups or roles which we create in different you know in different accounts or uh, you know different regions within the aws to have uh, access to the different resources so my friends both the bucket policies and the iam policies they basically provide the good governance within the aws cloud so that you can have more granular or fine grained control within the cloud so that you should be knowing that who is doing what and uh, you know provide access on the basis of least privilege which is a security best practice so in this way aws has provided us lot many features and uh, with the help of which we can uh, you know have a good control or a good governance within the aws cloud so you know really cool factors uh, and amazon is investing a lot of time or i would say different cloud vendors are investing a lot of time because this is the demand of current era to have uh, you know resources or to have you know good amount of security within the cloud so this is in the bucket policy so please stick with me till the end of this video so we'll see a live demo how we can use different bucket policies to have more granular control so bucket policy demo what is there so in this bucket uh, you know policy demo will be using a you know a json script where we'll be providing anonymous access to all the users means it is not restricted to to users having aws account it is anonymous users means to any user in the world we provide we want to provide access so we can do that via this uh, simple json script so uh, you know in this case uh, you know there are some bucket policies which are uh, readily available and uh, uh, amazon has uh, for aries created some of the scripts uh, and uh, amazon also provided us a tool with the help of which we can uh, you know easily create such such scripts i'll show you that as well so you know in this uh, friends uh, you know this permission uh, will allow anyone to get the objects anyone can get uh, you know the objects and uh, you know basically to see that okay what kind of objects have been stored in the uh, s3 bucket so my friends uh, you know there is a little catch over here so because amazon says that granting read only access or a permission to an anonymous user but my friends it is not at all a read only permission right so in this case i'll show you that you know when we are, when we are using that script inside the script we have what we have mentioned that it you know it is never a read only script so this permission allows anyone to get the object so i just want to specify or put stress that get the object it is not a read only so which is useful for when you configure your bucket as a website or data which you want you know is open to the world and the another thing is you want every everyone to be able to read the object present in the bucket so let me show you that uh, what is there in the json script and uh, what is the catch of this read only permission and let me open up the internet explorer and go to the bucket policies i have saved the link for that
okay so here it is saying granting read only permission to an anonymous user so my friends but on one side it is read only but it is not at all read only because here action is s3 get object so in this case uh, you know in the typical http header when we are using this get command so basically it is that retrieving the data from a web server or uh, you know the data we have placed via the http so again we usually uh, access our buckets of data within the S3 is is via the uh, HTTP only. So here we are taking the uh, you know privilege of uh, you know uh, you can say that uh, commands which we use in the HTTP header only. So here action is get HTTP. So here we'll be able to or anyone will be able to download that particular file. We'll see that in a demo. So here uh, you know the simple bucket policy which Amazon has created for our convenience. So we'll be copying this and we'll be replacing the name example bucket with our bucket. So the number of policies which Amazon has created for our ease, like, uh, you know, restricting access to a specific IP address. If you want that, okay, certain countries sending spam or scanning your S3 bucket, you can, uh, you know, go ahead and block these particular IP addresses to have more granular control. Similarly, you know, can have MFA authentication configured for your S3 buckets. So then, yeah, you can see that adding a bucket policy to require a MFA authentication, granting permission to an Amazon, you know, CDN origin identity. So for this, this is a very important, we'll have a separate session or a separate video for that. So stay tuned. So, okay, so these are the bucket policies. So we'll be using this particular bucket policy. Let me copy this go back to my management control open s3 and let me create a bucket over here so so this is the bucket policy i have created let me create in mumbai and click on create so yeah here we have our bucket policy. So let's upload something into this. So uh, this is a file I have created, an open file. Hello Cloud Ninja, this file is open for everyone. So this is not a read-only file. Just put it, again, I put a stress on that. So let's see if something is uploaded. One success it is showing. So, so here is our file. So now we'll go to the permissions and click on bucket policy and whatever let me copy it once again to make sure that we have copied the right content and you know paste it over here so we'll replace like said uh, the name with the bucket name which we have created or on which we want to have uh, this policy applied so i'll copy this and save it so this has been saved so let's see if we are, you know, able to access it or or download it. So typically the format for, uh, you know, using this uh, is, uh, you know, that you need to supply the bucket name, right? And then bucket name, cloud, mm, yes, right, dot s3 dot amazon dot aws state com. This is particularly the format. So now we'll apply the file name. So which was, so you can see friends that I am able to, I'll be able to save that particular file. So, you know, if I'll, if I'll go by this, that it is, you know, not at our read only. And I cannot stop the user from downloading that particular file. So you can see that I am able to save that particular file and I'm able to open that particular file and this is the file which I showed you, right? So make sure that, uh, you know, whenever you're applying the policies, uh, you know, these things are there into your mind. So this is, uh, you know, you know, it about the bucket policy, which we have just, uh, uh, you know, created. So I would say thank you. Thank you, friends. Uh, you know, thank you for watching this video. I would highly encourage you to please do the experiment, uh, you know, so you can hands on that how these policies work. If you have any doubt, you can just write down in the comment section. I'll try to come back and, uh, you know, solve the doubts. And if you have any suggestions that, okay, on which topics should we, you know, will 
we should make the videos or you want please uh, you know do write to us and uh, we'll try to cover those topics within the by making the videos so thank you friends thank you for watching if you really like the video please hit the like button please 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 do share it with your friends so that you can you know maximum people can understand the benefit of uh, you know cloud and the you know kind of scalability or uh, security benefits uh, within the cloud and please do share it on linkedin with your friends or on email so that um, you know it, it should be you know helpful for the other people as well like uh, you know my mission is to help uh, other people and uh, learning the you know new technology um, like cloud iot so that uh, maximum people can have benefit for that so thank you friends thank you for watching uh, please do subscribe to our channel so that you can get uh, you know uh, updates about our coming videos and events thank you friends thank you for watching